blender train mixer is a tool or a very complex uh, material setup that will help you achieve uh, highly detailed terrains inside of blender with the advantage of uh, being able to use it with uh, other assets other 3d assets and render it it in blender right away um, when you start working with it uh, I suggest uh, that uh, you use uh, uh, something that we call fast shade uh, it's, it's actually a simple material uh, with the Fresnel effect uh, so you can see the details uh, in the shadows uh, but if you want you can also uh, work uh, with the final material uh, so this can be either uh, image based texture material uh, or procedural texture material or uh, something with the uh, sand or uh, snow on top uh, I suggest uh, that you work uh, with a fast shade because it is uh, much faster and uh, you see all the important details uh, that way so uh, no distraction and of course you can texture it uh, at the end of the process or even when you bake out <coughs> the result uh, for this fast shade you can also change the color uh, you know into green or blue or whatever you like uh, better uh, the most powerful feature of the terrain mixer is its ability to mix <coughs> different inputs so for example you can have or you have uh, uh, three inputs three height inputs and uh, you can combine them in different ways but you can also edit each of them uh, individually so uh, you can you can change the influence of each input uh, or even use uh, the same impu input uh, or the same source uh, on two or three different inputs with the different uh, parameters applied to each input what you can also do uh, is uh, you can uh, rotate uh, each input separately which uh, drastically uh, changes uh, the terrain appearance you can rotate inputs uh, up to 270 degrees which is good for example if you're working on a huge uh, map uh, where you need a lot of uh, different angles uh, you can you know just uh, bake uh, each variation uh, very fast and uh, in no time you end up with uh, you know five or ten different height maps there's also something that uh, we call melter or alienizer uh, this gives this uh, uh, hardened lava uh, effect to your terrain of course this also uh, depends on uh, what your source uh, height source uh, look like but uh, it, it, it gives this uh, uh, very interesting effect that uh, I personally use when I'm creating some sort of uh, uh, alienish uh, terrains so, you know somewhere in the galaxy and uh, it is really powerful it can change your uh, terrain drastically so you know be careful when you're using it uh, that would be it for now uh, I'll be making some more videos soon so stay tuned if you have any questions feel free to leave the comments or write to us or any other mean of communication is acceptable. Talk soon. Bye.